Hi everyone, so um, again, changing the filming setup on you. I hope this is alright. I mean, you can see, I wish I had a, back, a black backdrop, but I think the lights themselves are excellent. Um, lights. Uh, so this is going to be the July, no, it's August. Shoot, it's going to be September. Um, the August products video, um, which as you guys know, I'm typically like, when it comes to other things, I'm sort of wishy-washy about it. I, I'll be the first to admit it, but I really do try to get up products video every month um, because products are usually what I prefer to talk about and are the most important things to me when it comes to cosmetics rather than, you know, application, uh, if you will. So um, this is, it was a pretty good month. There's a few things that I don't think I've ever mentioned before that I would like to and some stuff that I've acquired as well. Um, the first thing we'll start off with, which is my light, um, this is the, can you even see, this is the Aught Light. Um, cosmetics or vanity or makeup mirror um, and it's excellent uh, if you guys remember the one I had back home if you've ever seen it and you can see it in one of the collections makeup collection and storage videos that I've done um, but that one I got from a resale shop for like six dollars um, and this mirror is not cheap by any means um, I believe I paid I think it was sixty dollars um, and I did buy it from Amazon but I had an Amazon gift card from graduation that I just hadn't used yet and so part of that credit went towards this um, and I ordered one it got here when it arrived it was completely shattered the mirror was ruined so I had to send it back I got my money back and then I just ordered the same exact one through um, a different seller which brings me also um, to um, Amazon student now this sounds like such a plug but it's really not like honestly I I'm not I, I'm not affiliated with Amazon but um, if you are a student a college student and um, you find yourself already shopping on Amazon or you find yourself you're going to need to shop on Amazon more just maybe the location you're at the school you're at is there's not very many shopping centers around you or certain stores that you used to be able to go to are not available anymore um, if you sign up for the Amazon student membership um, it's for I think it's six months that you get um, and it's free and then after that I think it's $17 I'll have to check I'll put the price in right here um, but you pay um, a fee for like an annual fee and you get all of the benefits of Prime but you get a discount of the Prime membership so if you know if you're not familiar with Amazon Prime it's you get free two-day shipping you get special deals on things it's really convenient you can do like instant video I think um, and so if you're a student, you can get all of those Prime benefits, plus um, there's a few other things that I don't really remember, um, but you get a discount on that. So essentially you get Prime, but for cheaper, and you just have to send it, you have to go through your student email um, and sign up for it. And that's what I did, and so no matter what I get, as long as it's Amazon Prime validated, then I can get free two-day shipping on it. So I in the same amount of week I was able to get a mirror, send it back, and get another one, and then set it up and start using it because of the two-day shipping. And um, they cover your returns too. So um, there's that. That's really exciting. So I really love this mirror. It's bright. Um, the light is not... It's very neutral. It's a very white light, which I honestly prefer because too yellow can distort the way you put on your makeup and too cool can just kind of make you overcompensate with like bronzer and stuff like that because of the sallowness that it can kind of give you. So this is bright and perfect and very daylight, which is the type of lighting that I prefer. And it looks like it's really nice for filming, I, I think. It might be a little bit bright, but what are you gonna do? Um, and so the reason I like this some the mirror so much is because when you put on your makeup it's very true to how it's gonna look in daylight so you don't accidentally you know if it's the mirrors too dark you might put on too much and not mean to um, so you can see every bit and then you flip it around my one complaint is the mirror automatically tilts itself and it's sort of like it's normally sitting like this and it tilts forward so I've had to sub q-tips in the side to keep it stationary but I don't even care at this point. So we'll start with skin. Um, typically everything has been the same, except I did order this um, from Sephora when it was their triple points um, for VIBs um, because I really want to get to Rouge. I'm really close to Rouge, um, but I just wanted to take advantage of getting you know a lot of extra points. So I got the Algenist, Algenist? Um, Complete Eye Renewal Balm, and I got the really small size, the one that is 
1.23 ounces, which is interesting. And you can't buy this anymore, I don't think. When I look on the website, I can't ever see it. It's 0.23 ounces for $15. If you buy two of them, that's $30 and 0.5 ounces, which is the size of a full-size one. But if you were to buy a full-size one, I think it's like $75. So you save like a bunch of money if you just buy two of the little ones. Same when Smashbox does their little primers. If you buy the small size it's and two of them, it's way cheaper than buying a full size and you get the same amount of product. But I love this because it is, I've used very little of it because you need very little of it. I don't know, I want to like lower the brightness I think. Is that better? I hope so. So can you see this now? Yeah, it's, it's a very rich thick balm but it doesn't feel overly like overly oily or anything like that and so I just take a q-tip so I don't contaminate the um, cream uh, and then pat that on and then blend it in with my finger just so I can like sort of scoop it out and be you know hygienic about it but this is great um, very hydrating very smoothing I haven't noticed a difference in fine lines or wrinkles or firmness at all well maybe mine's are a little bit firmer but nothing super noticeable and that's only because I've been using it for about a week um, I also did repurchase the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion because I love this stuff so much. I swear by this, everyone. It doesn't matter what kind of skin you have, if you have oily, dry skin, um, combination, whatever. This is made um, so well with hyaluronic acid to hydrate your skin but not make it oily and there's no irritating ingredients. So no matter what type of skin you have, if you just need a good basic moisturizer that you don't even have to really think about when you throw on, which is... I don't like to have to think about like, do I want to use something with omega-3s today? No, this is just, I throw this on and it's great. So, um, I don't know if you can see that at all. Probably not, but it's a great one and it's fairly inexpensive for what it is. Um, everything skincare wise has been the same. I have been trying to use my Tazerac cream more for my, um, scars and hyperpigmentation left over, but, um, it's, it's very, very potent. So I can't use it every day. Otherwise it's just too much. Um, Face wise, I really have been enjoying this, the Sonia Kashuk um, Super Sheer Shimmering Highlighter in 04. It's very similar to the idea of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, except it's a little bit more bronzy and it goes on a little bit more pigmented, but um, I, I do like it. I think it's not as great, not as smooth, it's not as um, composed, it's more of a liquid um, as the Becca one, but it is great. It's great for a drugstore dupe if you can still find it. I bought mine on clearance, so I don't know if they're redoing it. Or, or something. Um, and I did try this for the first time a few days ago, the NARS Radiant Cream Compact Foundation, even though I've had it. Oh. Almost a month. But um, here it is. You have to buy the compact and the cream itself separately. But this is completely invisible on the skin. I did a first impressions, which I'll upload pretty soon, um, putting this on for the first time. And um, it was really hard for me to tell, even with this mirror, because this mirror is such true to color, or, you know, true to daylight light, and the mirror, you can get really close and see everything, I couldn't tell that I was wearing any foundation. I mean, my skin was evened out, and my skin was a little bit lighter, it's not the perfect shade, but, um, I have Punjab, by the way, um, but I, I was still, I still managed to look like I wasn't wearing any makeup at all. And that's sort of hard to do, especially nowadays. Um, I have been getting a little bit of irritation just from, I think, the pollution. And so what I've been using to cover that, as always, Bobbi Brown Oil-Free Even Finish Compact Foundation. It's the only thing I trust because um, it's the only thing that looks perfect, really. Um, using this, actually, I remember using it a few, at least a few times, Stila Convertible Color and Peony. This looks great on my skin tone. It's very similar to like the effect that I get from using MAC Desert Rose, which is my favorite blush ever. Um, sort of a similar idea. The MAC one is maybe a little bit more blue toned, but it doesn't ever look bluish on my skin. It really turns into a nice sort of like terracotta flushed color. Not overly terracotta, obviously. Um, so that's a great one. Um, I do actually remember sometimes it... <laughs> Because these NARS, oh, larger than life eyeliners, you have to go back and forth on your waterline a few times for them to really show up. Um, and after you do, they will be pigmented and they'll stay all day. But if I just go over my um, waterline maybe once or twice, not very much product gets dispensed or deposited onto my waterline. And so that means it really is great for neutralizing redness, which I've had a lot of um, 
from allergies and things like that from the pollution from the air quality um, so if I just run this and I'll show you right now just really not even trying to get a lot of product on there run it back and forth it's not as bright as a white it's not as invisible as a nude but hopefully you can tell that kind of just brightens up my eyes because the green will counteract the redness um, and then if you go more obviously a lot of the mint color will be deposited and it's going to look amazing and beautiful but um this has been a great sort of option um if i'm not wanting to use the rimmel scandalize that day which sometimes i just don't um let's see what else oh eyeshadows so i have been really loving this this is amazing the um New York eyeshadow from NARS that I bought from the boutique. Um, a beautiful plummy color that turns a little bit more warm on the skin, especially um, if you blend it out, sheer it out, it can look really, really red, which I love. Um, I did a look yesterday where it was a monochromatic burgundy where I just used variations of the same sort of type of shade on my eyes, my cheeks, and my lips. And I use this in combination with some of the Ramatua um, apricot color just for some brightness and to help blend it out. Um, combined with that Desert Rose blush that I showed earlier, I just really worked that around and it kind of gave me some depth and some, um, some warmth. And then I did uh, Desert Rose here and then a little bit of the same color towards the back. Um, so this is great. Um, a matte texture, so it's pretty versatile. You're not limited to really anything, but I find even with NARS shimmery eyeshadows, they don't ever look too shimmery when they are shimmery, if that makes sense. Something worth mentioning, Essence Multi-Action Blackest Black Mascara. One of the best mascaras I can honestly say I've ever used. It's not as dramatic as the Hourglass Film Noir. Um, it's not as separating as like a Maybelline one by one. Um, I really was able to build up a few times a lot of volume from the Rocket volume and it wasn't able to do that. It didn't have, you know, any bulky quality, but it did define, it lengthened, it volumized, and it separated my lashes and gave me a really black effect all to like a perfect threshold. It wasn't, you know, like when you think about certain mascaras, they have really volu voluminous qualities or really lengthening or separating qualities. This sort of just does all of it. And when they say multi-action, it, it does. It truly does. And um, the only thing it doesn't do is keep a curl. But that's because my eyelashes won't ever hold a curl. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out in like $3 I think I paid for that from Ulta. Um, <laughs> I love just having my makeup here in these drawers because I can just look at it. Um, I really do most days where I want to wear a, sort of like a, a look pulled together, I use the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in number 1C, just for some definition. It doesn't completely change my lip color, which I don't want it to. And I just use it soft enough to where it uh, gives me definition, but it's not super overly defined or obvious. And any lip color or lip balm I put on after that, I mean, I blend the edges a little bit, but it just gives me a little bit more definition. And I kind of like having my lip line go to the full edge that it is capable of doing. Um, so this is, and the formula is waterproof. It doesn't budge. So definitely one worth checking out if you are in the market for a lip liner. That one I really, really enjoy. Um, and then I did do an Amanda Lepore look with huge red lips. And I just have to give this a mention because I don't, I can't recall ever mentioning it, but the CoverGirl Lip Perfection lip pencils, so good. Um, yeah, this is, oh, which, I dropped it. Shoot, which one was it? Oh, it's called um, 215 Passion. Um, a perfect blue-red, and really the formula is so velvety. Um, it's... I don't know about longevity, I haven't really worn it for a long time. It's not as dry as the Makeup Forever, so I feel like it's not going to last as long. But if you just want, like, a cheap version of, like, a NARS velvet, excuse me, velvet uh, matte lip pencil, definitely an option. Super pigmented and great. Angel is one of my favorite lip colors ever, which is so funny because it's like a dusty baby pink, and that's not a color I ever go for. My lips are not exfoliated. 
either, mind you, but it truly is a color that I love to wear, and that's so funny because I, I hate pink. I really do hate pink. Um, but let me mention, I have short hair, so I don't really see extreme effects of like hair care products when I use them because I don't have very much hair for it to be effective on. But I can tell you that using this conditioner, the best conditioner I've ever used, Vidal Sassoon VS Moisture Conditioner Moisture Lock. Um, this is so smooth. Um, it's one of those conditioners where you feel, it still feels like your hair's got conditioner in it after you rinse it out, which, I mean, it doesn't feel gross to the point of like, oh god, there's still hair product in my hair, but your hair still feels like it has that smooth, emollient texture to it. And when your hair dries, I notice that it just, or when my hair dries, I notice that it just, it's a lot smoother than if I don't use it. Um, and I don't have particularly dry hair or anything like that, but just so excellent. And it smells like... It smells like my aunt. My aunt used to use something that smelled similar to this, and um, I just remember she always used to smell like this. But it smells like a soapy pineapple, if you will. Um, and I did get my hair cut, and I didn't style my hair this way, but the next video I put up, which is about oily skin, um, I do have my hair slicked back using not this product, but a product very similar. The reason I'm not... I didn't buy the other product that I originally got used um, at the... Uh, Salon is because they she was sold out of it, but it's the Mitch by Paul Mitchell clean cut medium hold semi matte styling cream Super like <laughs> this stuff doesn't move. It's real waxy, but you just use a little bit of this um, Style your hair and it really will keep it like Stuck like that without looking without feeling too dry. It feels I mean, it's a little bit Sticky and waxy, but it doesn't look crunchy or feel crunchy or anything like that And it's able you can move your hair after that So I always follow through with a comb and a blow dryer just for some definition and some texture But um, it doesn't ever look super flat either, which I really really appreciate um, Kiehl's creme decor So good. I I've had this a while. I just haven't ever mentioned it super super hydrating It smells like olive oil not a fan of that so good and then Yamamoto Yama green tea, drink it every day, twice a day to antioxidant your body up and yeah, good for your skin. That's everything, I'll see you guys later, bye! Sorry, my, can't, my memory card's almost full.